Where do I even start? AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. Should I just get all the certifications? That'll make me an expert, right? This diagram makes no sense. Am I supposed to build something like this? Maybe I should just watch a few more YouTube videos. Yeah, they'll help. But I've already watched like 10, and I still haven't actually tried anything. There's got to be a better way to learn this. Hey everyone, let me ask you this. Are you excited about learning cloud computing but feel like there's just too much to figure out? Maybe you've been jumping between AWS, Azure, and GCP, not knowing where to start, or you signed up for a bunch of courses but can't seem to make progress. Maybe you're stuck in the research phase, watching endless tutorials but not actually building anything. And now you're wondering if cloud computing is even for you. I've been there and so have many of the people I've trained over the years. Starting in cloud computing can feel overwhelming because there's so much to learn. But here's the good news. The mistakes you're making or might make are completely fixable. In today's video, I'm breaking down the five biggest mistakes I've seen beginners make when learning cloud computing. These are mistakes I've made myself as well as ones I've seen in the many cloud engineers I had the privilege to train. So if you're just starting your cloud journey or thinking about it, stick around. Let's make sure you avoid these pitfalls and set yourself up for success. One of the most common mistakes I see, and I made this one myself, is trying to tackle overly complicated projects right away. You think, if I'm learning cloud, I might as well go big, right? For me, that meant trying to build a highly available multi-region architecture before I really understood the fundamentals. For others I've trained, it's jumping straight into Kubernetes or serverless without knowing the basics. The truth is, cloud computing is a marathon, not a sprint. Start small, deploy something simple like a static website or a single virtual machine. These foundational projects teach you the core concepts, deployment, permissions, scaling, and set you up for success as you move on to more complex ideas. Trust me, you don't need to build a skyscraper on your first day. A solid foundation is much more valuable. Here's another one, certifications. I know the temptation. You want to feel like you're making progress and certifications seem like the easiest way to show it. So you buy every major course for every major cloud provider, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, thinking, the more the better, right? I've done it. And so have many of the people I've trained. The problem is it doesn't work. You end up spreading yourself too thin. And instead of mastering one platform, you feel stuck in this endless cycle of starting over. What I always recommend and what worked for me is to pick one platform to focus on first. If you're unsure, AWS is a great choice since it's so widely used. Start with an entry-level certification like Cloud Practitioner. It gives you a solid foundation and builds your confidence to tackle more advanced topics later. Certifications are tools to guide your learning, not trophies to collect. Take your time and really dive deep into the platform you choose. I've seen this so many times and I was guilty of it too. Watching videos and reading books can feel productive, but when it's all you do, you're not actually learning. One trainee told me they had completed 50 hours of cloud tutorials but couldn't deploy a single virtual machine. It's not that they weren't capable, they just hadn't applied what they had learned. What I encourage and what worked for me is hands-on practice. Lots of hands-on practice. Set up a free account on AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud and start small. Deploy a virtual machine, create a storage bucket, or configure basic permissions. Mistakes will happen, but that's part of the process. Troubleshooting teaches you more than any tutorial ever could. So don't just consume knowledge, put it into action. In cloud computing, there's no shortage of buzzwords serverless, AI, blockchain, and it's easy to think that learning these terms will make you a cloud expert. I've seen many learners jump into these areas way too early. The issue is that buzzwords don't help you understand the core concepts. When trainees skip the fundamentals, they often find themselves struggling later when those basics are needed. What I've learned 
and what I teach is to master the fundamentals first. Understand how virtual machines work, how data is stored and retrieved, and how networking ties everything together. Once you have a strong foundation, you can explore the advanced topics with confidence. This last mistake is one I see far too often. Cloud computing can feel overwhelming at first, and it's easy to push things off. I'll start tomorrow becomes I'll start next week and progress stalls. What I've learned and what I always tell my trainees is to start small and take consistent action. Even 15 minutes a day can make a huge difference. One of the first projects I recommend is something practical and manageable, whether it's a deploying a basic website or setting up a simple database. The key is to take that first step. Don't wait for the perfect time to start. Just begin with something small and let the momentum carry you forward. So those are the mistakes I've made and ones I've seen many others make when starting out in cloud computing. It's easy to feel overwhelmed or like you're not making progress, but trust the process. With consistent effort, things will start to make more sense every day. If you're just getting started, remember, focus on the basics, practice hands-on, and don't rush. The cloud is a huge space with endless possibilities and there's no right way to learn it. What matters is taking one step at a time. If this video helped, please like it, subscribe, and share your own experiences in the comments. And most importantly, go try something today. Even a small step can lead to something big. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.